In part 10 of the Spring Security Series, we continue with the My Security Filter. Where in the previous part we could log in with headers, we will now log in with URL parameters. This is a short video, with only a few changes to the filter class. Back in Eclipse, we can look at the My Security Filter class. The class is not that much changed than in Part 9. Instead of the headers, we now look at the parameters of the request. First we look to see if the parameters exist, and if they don't go to the next filter in the filter chain. Then we look if the login and password are correct. If they are not correct we give an error message. If everything is correct we create a new security context with the new user. Those were the only changes for this part. We can now start our project and test it. The first test is an insomnia. As you can see we no longer log in with headers but with parameters in the URL of the request. After sending the request we get the expected response. After the first test, we can return to Eclipse to view the console. You can see here the list of all security filters, and you can see that our My Security Filter worked. The second test is with our browser. We also want to check if the login with the browser is still working properly. First we are the welcome page. If we go to the admin page we need to log in, as you can see we get the expected result. That's it for today. In the next part we will continue with the custom filter. We are going to create and configure a custom security provider. Thank you. Like. Comment. Share. And subscribe.